in this video we are going to learn how we can use power bi with python and i will also show you how i leverage chat gpt to help me in some of the transformations as well before we move forward in the video i would like to tell you that b10x has an exclusive workshop on ai tools ms office and power bi the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in this video now let's get back to our topic well so as i was talking so recently i have been doing a project on one of the hockey data analysis and i have doing couple of python visualization and data transformation on it and then i thought okay it would be great if i can visualize the data in power bi as well so let me show you the data set that i have been working on so yeah you can see i have uploaded the data set in the github repository so if you want to access this particular data set you can access it from this particular link and as you can see i have a fairly clean data set of different teams of the year their wins losses basically their statistics data right so i have done couple of analysis in my colab notebook basically google colab is kind of a jupyter notebook provided by google so they have performed all the different types of transformations i have done now i want to do the similar transformation with power bi in order to visualize it now then i thought isn't there a way through which i can integrate all of my work that i have already done in python in power bi so that you know i don't have to do it over and over again well i find out a way and i would like to share that with you as well now let's move on to my collab notebook i will show you what transformations i have done there uh yeah let us let me run everything okay so first i am importing the pandas library as you know this is the data analysis library in python then i am taking the url so this is that particular github csv file url so i'm taking now yeah then i'm reading the data set using the pandas and i'm seeing a glimpse of the data set so it looks exactly as it is in the github i am seeing some info about the data set okay the data set looks good there is no null values everything like this one is float 64 win percentage and team name is object here is in 64 and others are also in 64 looks good right uh, then i have drawn some unpivoting transformation so basically what i did is i taken the team name and year as my id columns and rest of the columns as my value columns and uh, then what i have done is i have basically performed unpivot of the data and i have provided this particular name as my attribute column and this particular column as my value column and also i ensured that there should not be any na value so i filled it with zero so i did all this transformation on the data set now since i want to visualize this data set in power bi i would have to done this all this transformation in power bi as well but i don't want to do that i just want to take this particular transformation in power bi so that you know i don't have to again do that but there is a you know there is a secret here i actually didn't written this code this code is written by chat gpt for me so let me show you that thing so what i did is so i gone to chat gpt and i have written this particular prompt to chat gpt i have given chat gpt that i have the following columns and i have this data set and i want to perform this particular actions so you see it generated the code for me and what i did is just copy and pasted this particular code here before we move on into the topic let me inform you that data analysis and business intelligence has become a crucial part of any industry today and i guess you won't like to lag behind others right well if you want to become irreplaceable in your data analytics career join our three hours power bi and data analysis mastery workshop in which we will not only teach you how to perform top-notch data analysis but will also make you build stunning dashboards so that you can become one of those top one percent of power bi users who snatch some high paying jobs so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic how can i integrate those transformations that I have done in my jupyter notebook in power bi 
well first of all you just need to ensure that your python is connected to power bi so in order to do that you just have to go to file menu and then go to option and settings and then go to data source settings not data source settings sorry options you have to go to options right so yeah so you have this options menu and now we will go to python scripting in this python scripting you have to ensure that your path to the python install is there by default if python is installed in your system it will show show it up here so yeah that's it now what i'll do is i'll go to transform data so this is my transform data first i need to connect to the data source now we are getting the data from a url so i will select web now here i need to provide the url so i can grab that from my you know from my collab notebook i guess yes so this is the url of the file i'll just copy it put it to here click on okay the data set now and you can see this exactly this is the data set as uh, we have in our github so click on okay now the main part is how can i do those unpivot transformation of course i can do it in power bi as well like in this power query i can do unpivot and all but imagine in a situation if you have done a lot of transformation and analysis already in your jupyter notebook or in your python so you don't want to do it again right so we can actually integrate all our python steps here so let me show you how just go to transform tab and you see we have a run python script here so i'll just click on that so i will get a pop-up where i can run the python script so this is the pop-up right and what it is saying it is saying that data set holds the input data for the script so whatever this data you are seeing this particular data you are seeing the name of this data set is data set basically so we have to refer this data frame as a data set and then we can perform any kind of transformation upon the data set and it is clearly saying that the script will run with the following python installation you remember the path that we have provided to power bi for using our python so i have provided one of the virtual environments where i have installed pandas already so that's what it is saying okay now let's see how it works okay so i will keep this comment as it is you can remove it if you want so i'll just go to my collab notebook and uh, data set i don't have to read because it's already there as data set info also i don't need this is not a part of my transformations uh well this is the part of my transformations right so i will copy all of this and i'll go to power bi again and maybe i'll paste it here so yeah so let me see okay mm, we are creating id columns and value columns then we are unpivoting the data set and then we are filling with zero uh we don't know it this one right we don't need this one so we don't want to see the head so i think this is what our transformation is so we just want to unpivot the data set right so yeah let me click on okay now let's see it's running the python script using the environment and it is doing the transformation oh what it is okay it is saying me that information required about data privacy so you can click on continue and um yeah i we can ignore the privacy levels for now so let's just click on save it's saying that name pd is okay i guess what's the mistake where to install we need to import the pandas right so import pandas as see this happens and you can debug like that so you can see you have a table object here now if i just click on this particular cell right you can see the preview of the table the transform table that we have so yeah so this is the transform table we have right so all you can do is either you can click here and expand and then remove this column or simple step is you just click on it 
so i'll just click on this table object and i will get the table or the transform table that i require we have this particular table with us so yeah team name year attribute and value i don't have to do any transformation in power query so this is a small scenario but imagine if you have a lot of transformation that you have already done in python you don't want to do or repeat anything here right you can just paste your python script and have your transform data with you so and then we can just close and apply so this is applying changes loading the data and then you can visualize so this is it for our video i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you